Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be unboxing my March Stitch Fix. And if you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with so the video. So what Stitch Fix is, it's a subscription service. You pick and choose when you get your boxes. So you can get them monthly, every other month, every six months. And it's a $20 styling fee. If you keep anything from your box, then that $20 gets deducted. And if you keep all five pieces, that's how many you get five, then you get a 25% discount. So let's get on with the unboxing. So when you get your box, this is what it looks like. There is a return label. So everything you don't like, you put in this envelope, you send it right back and it's prepaid. It's the post office. Then you get a little envelope and inside they have your styling card with your note from your stylist. So it shows you all the different pieces you're getting, how you can style them. And then your note on like why she chose the things she did. Um, I'm not gonna read that because that gets a little boring. And then you also get an itemized receipt with everything that's in your box, the five pieces, how much they cost, how much everything would be. And then with your 25% discount, how much your box would be. So super helpful. And then you get your little bundle. It looks like I have an item in here, like a big item. So here is my bundle kind of small i asked for no long sleeves or pants so you can request different things that you need in your closet and we're kind of getting over our cold weather here so i didn't want any more pants so at the bottom of the box i have a bag so this is the first item and this is the moto lux london mixed material satchel so it definitely smells like it's real leather it said made with 100% genuine leather and synthetic materials. Looks like they have two little front pockets with snaps. And then a little side zipper pocket. Inside, that's what it looks like. And there is a dust bag in there. And then it looks like there is a cross body strap that's kind of snapped in, which is kind of cool. Um, orange isn't really my color, so I don't know how I feel about the color, but I mean, it's pretty. Let's see how much it costs. Okay, so the Octavia London Mixed Material Satchel is $60 and it's in the burnt orange which is a little pricey, but it is real leather. So I don't know, we'll see what the rest of the box is like. Okay, so the first item is a plum color, a lot like what I'm wearing. This is actually from my previous box. So this is the for Fortune and Ivy Layton Zip Detail Mixed Material Blouse in the burgundy size medium. Has a little zipper detail on the front, little faux pockets with grommets, really loose and lightweight. This material on the front is like that really flowy sheer kind of fabric and then on the back it has like stretchy cotton. This is kind of pretty, it's nice and lightweight. We will see if it works. But that top is $36, which isn't bad for Stitch Fix. It's about the cheapest you get. Then this next item, this looks like it matches the bag perfectly. So they might get me with the bag just because this shirt looks like it's a perfect match. So this is the Luck Ray T front top in coral size medium has little buttons, has a v-neck, a little tie front detail, really nice and lightweight, perfect for Florida. Just an easy top. This look really good with white jeans, but how good does this match with the bag? Like, they could not. She knows me. I, I got my stylist Molly, and I can tell she knows how to get me. And then the next item, Here's a Kaylee dress. 
I love their material. It's so soft and silky. So this looks like it's a wrap top and then it kind of flows out. This is really pretty. It's in a green with lots of different floral. This is really nice for Easter maybe if I don't have anything. This looks like it's going to look really nice on too. So this is the Kaylee Amandine knit dress and it's heel green and it's $50, which seems like a lot for this. But I like all of the Kaylee stuff that I have. I have a jumpsuit and then a dress from them. And it just feels like pajamas on the inside. It's so soft. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's really, really silky, just easy to throw on. You don't dread wearing it. So I don't know. We'll see how that looks. And then the last item I have, looks like it's Free People. It's just a little cropped bralette. I know I requested no pants, but I know that they have the matching pants of this. I've had my eye on that. So this is the Good Karma Performance Crop Top in the navy in a size medium. Has a little crisscross back detail. I got one other similar top like this from them and I have not worn it yet. So I don't know if it's a smart thing to get another one. I'm not really into like crops. I would wear this under, um, you know, like maybe under a workout top, but I definitely couldn't wear this as a top. Okay, so that is the, that's gonna be $48. So that is a little pricey considering I didn't wear the last Free people crop top from them so let's try everything on and we'll see what works and look re tie front top it's $38 it's really really comfortable super lightweight I'm not I don't think it's like the most flattering cut but I like that you can you know tie it a little bit tighter and have it more cropped or have it more loose with leggings or a more casual look here it is with the bag. So really a perfect match. She matches really well. And definitely something I probably would say no to this if it was alone and no to this if it was alone. But together, it just matches so good. I might have to take them both. Here is the Fortune and Ivy Layton Zip Detail Mixed Top in the Burgundy, $36.00. It's really comfortable. That's really about it. I like the little zipper detail. I kept that tank top on and those little studded pockets. The back is really, really comfortable, but this is another one. I don't feel like it's the most flattering top for me. Maybe tucked into high-waisted jeans. I think if I worked out of the house, I, this would look really cute with a blazer and black pants tucked in. Matches my lipstick kind of good. But I don't love it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Here is the Kaylee Amandine knit dress. $50. Honestly, taking it out of the box, I didn't think it was a $50 dress. But once I put it on, I feel like it's, it's really, really cute. It's comfortable. I just feel like I don't have enough places to wear this because it's not really casual. But it's not dressy either. It's kind of in the middle. Like something that you could wear for work or... Um, you know, if you had like some kind of day event, but it's not too dressy and I don't have anything like that. I was thinking maybe Easter, but I think it's a little too casual. It is really, really cute though. I think this is one of the ones that I'm kind of on the fence of and I sent, if I send it back, I'm going to regret it. Let me know what you guys think. Here is the Free People Good Karma Performance Crop Top. It's okay. But it's definitely not something that I would wear out. I guess maybe like layered under a tank if I had the matching leggings. But I'm definitely not someone that's going to go running around in this shirt or bra, whatever it is. <laughs> I like the color. Um, the fit is okay. It's a medium. It feels like it's a little big, but Free People usually runs a little larger. I think for $48, it's a little pricey. But let me know what you guys think. Okay, so this is the first box that I had that I really don't know for sure if I 
like anything. Like I usually know right away if I hate it or love it, but this one I'm kind of on the fence with everything. I really like the top with the bag combo. I like that it's just like an easy outfit and then everything else is kind of like, I don't know how much wear I'd get out of it. Like especially the dress and the free people top the burgundy top i might wear a couple times so i mean kind of like with the pricing they're a little pricey for me not to love it but if i decided to keep the whole box so everything comes up to 240 with the 25 percent discount it gets, brings me down to 60 and then with that would be 180 and then minus the 20 would bring me down to 160 so I think it's not 160 for everything isn't bad, but like I said, I don't love anything. I'm kind of leaning towards the top and the bag, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I definitely need help with this one. If you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.